What's up, guys? It's your boy Mike here. Okay, so this is like my fifth take trying to make this video, trying to make sure the audio is all good. Make, just make sure everything's good. I haven't made a video in forever. Um, and as you guys can tell, there's no webcam in this. So, um, firstly, I want to start off by apologizing to people by not uploading and not being here and not kind of updating you guys what's going on. Um, some people know, but I have a new living arrangement um, for a while now. Also, work an overnight job so just making videos in general i get brain fog and i lose i lose my place and what i'm talking about and everything like that um mentally i've been going through it financially i've been going through it and i'm just trying to get back on track with life and also i'm just trying to focus on my work and my job so i've been interviewing at places but i do have another job so um it's during the daytime so i'll be able to get back on a nice normal sleep schedule um i'll also be able to do more things that i like such as like going out, just getting back into a nice mental place and mental space. So I do want to thank you guys for being patient with me and like just in general, just, you know, being there for, for a brother, you know? So I, I do want to just say thank you with, in that aspect. Um, next, um, this video is, um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff going around. I've been wanting to make some videos on some certain things, such like Muhammad Light. He made a he made a nice little Ice Golem Minor Cycle deck with the Dagger Duchess. I want to like analyze his gameplay and kind of share with you guys what I saw. And like he made some really pro plays, so that's kind of what distinguishes you from a pro player from a, to an average player. But in, but this main video is going to be about basically bans going on. Um, the recent ban Supercells Supercell has been putting out. Um, I I am 100% agree with Supercell and what they did um with the bans. I don't think their bans are unjustified. And now I'm going to get into a real the reason why. Now I understand people are like, "Okay, how can Supercell ban someone for exploiting a game but not ban someone for spawning a balloon on someone's king tower? How how can they not ban someone for um you know, how can they not ban someone for um uh, what's it called? you know, kicking people out of their clan, you know, I, I heard all those arguments, I saw all those arguments about how can you, how can you pick and choose what you want to ban for, but not ban for everything, um, I completely understand and agree with all of that, but the thing is, what you guys are forgetting, there's some things that are trackable in this game, and then there's some things that are not trackable, so when I say trackable and not trackable, I mean, like, think about when you play Fortnite or something, or you play any, any game for that, for that matter, um there's there's interactions there's like someone let's say someone has uh not aim assist but aimbot you the game itself unless it has like anti-cheat in the game but sometimes those anti-cheats don't work all the, all the time but unless like someone reports that player with proof or evidence they're not gonna get banned at something i used to play this game and there used to be cheaters in the game and the only way those cheaters got banned is when like someone had video proof of them cheating in the game and they got and they got caught and they got sent to the devs or whatever and then they got their account banned so that's what i'm saying and what i'm saying is your tr your chests are trapped Money is tracked. There's a whole finance department at Supercell. There's a there's a department that handles finances. So like if something doesn't add up with the books, but I'm not this doesn't doesn't even go about the books. The finance department probably didn't catch all this stuff. What I'm saying is Lucky Drop just came out in April, right? And right now it's April 15th. If you have more like Lucky Drop drops or whatever, then there's probably a number, there's probably a counter, and they probably track that stuff. Like they track how many people they track how many people play logged in in a certain day. They track on average the days players been logging like, but this gym rush thing. Gym rush thing is split up, so they have these trackers in place to track like stats and statistics in the game, you know, to make better just choices and decisions. And you know, they probably have trackers to see how the lucky drop is doing. And they saw that there were some inconsistencies, so that's why people are getting banned. And yes, yes, y'all are taking Supercell's money, and they're probably not too happy about that. But at the same time, you guys are stealing from a game. I'm not saying every, I'm not, when I say you guys, I'm sorry, that's not, that sounds so generalized. But when I say people are stealing from the game and they're making, you know, they're making Supercell lose money. So that's why Supercell is banning people that are exploiting the lucky drop system. 
And I'm not, and they probably will ban everyone else. Like, for example, the reason, like, y'all, everyone's probably seen that B-Rad video of him spawning balloons on people's King Towers. It'd be smart if he takes that video down, but it's probably saved and downloaded somewhere. Supercell, I don't know if Supercell's seen it or not. But what I'm saying is, if those players, like, let's say Burrito, if I spawn a balloon on his King Tower, and he goes and reports me and sends proof to Supercell or whatever it is, I would probably get banned for exploiting the game. Same thing with people in the clans, like, when you, like... You can say vulgar things in the game chat. Like, you can say racist stuff. But if someone doesn't report you, like, if you're not reported, you're probably not going to get banned unless someone reports you and has proof of what you were saying. But, I mean, there's chat logs as well. Like, Supercell can see what you chatted on your account. They say, hey, this person's been saying this. There's going to be stuff in the account that says, oh, this is the last Texas man sent. Um, Okay. So, you, so that that's basically the point here. So there's there's trackable things and there's non trackable things. I feel like I've been ranting about track trackable and non trackable stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna stop my rant. But yeah, basically that that's the you know that's the main gisty gist of it. Oh, I really wish I had my arrows in cycle, but I'm I'm gonna go arrow I'm gonna arrows and zap that anyway. I, I don't care. I'm not gonna use my ability. I'm gonna cycle to another bomber. Um, then so I can get another uh what's it called here another collector going. And we already have our Evo Zap, so this is actually gonna be nice. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna Evo Zap that actually. I know that like I looks crazy, but that's actually a really good value on my part. And in fact, I'm actually gonna try to get a King Tower activation here too. No, Dagger Dutch is too good. Um, I am gonna go Giant to block this. And I'm gonna go Mega Minion. And we have the Elixir advantage on him, so we're actually just gonna be, we're gonna be real good here. And he has his Evo Zap. I wish I had a, I wish I had a Zap going right now. But we're just going to pump up again. And I'm going to go with a Bomber. Bomber should clean all that up. And in fact, I can go with Little Prince here. And I'm going to be ready with a Zap. Kind of retarget all of that. Really bad arrows, and I kind of feel like I played bad there too, but we're not even going to talk about it. <laughs> um, but we do have the damage advantage, and we're going to go in with a giant Mega Minion again, and he just wasted a zap, so he's going to he's gonna wish that he didn't waste that zap. I'm going to be honest with you guys. We're going to go Little Prince here, and we're going to go ahead and arrow zap. And yeah, this is all, this push is completely dead. I'm going to send a Guardian in as well. We're going to be ready with a zap, take care of those bats. And then, yeah, that should be his tower coming up soon. And we're going to go ahead and go in on the right side because we're full elixir. And we're going to go ahead and go with a bomber as well. We have our evil zap, so we're going to go ahead and rattle that off. I'm going to go with another giant as well. Bomber is splashing on tower. Yeah, perfect. We're going to go Mega Man on this. And, yeah, that's going to be game. So I, I like the Dagger Duchess. I think Dagger Duchess is pretty good. Um... Again, guys, if you guys are going to play the game, don't don't exploit it. Don't cheat. I know this is probably, like, crazy opinion on my part. But, I mean, I, uh, Supercell, forgive them, please. 31 days. take Revert it back to 31 days. I will say that. And, you know, like, you guys got your message across and your point across. I do get that. Um, be a little nice because, I mean, they did spend a lot of money on the game. But, again, like. They did. Oh, I don't know. See, I, I see both sides. I really do. I really do see both sides. So don't get me wrong there, guys. I see both sides. I understand both sides. But at the same time, bro, at the same time, you, you can't, you, you guys, you, you can't be surprised. Like, I, ugh. Can't be surprised. He's playing Freeze League. He's playing Balloon Freeze or something. I don't feel like he's playing Freeze. Um, I'm just going to go with a Zap here. Because I want to get back to another Collector instead of spinning like like a bomb or something. But f okay. Yeah, so I feel like a Night Witch and a Giant in front is actually going to be good here. And this is why Dagger Duchess is so good. It's like, I, like stuff like that. I don't have we you, like you don't have to answer, and that's so broken. I mean, he's not the NATO does or not. Uh, 
Um, I, I'm gonna go bomber here as well. I know this is this might seem crazy. Oh, okay, actually, no, that was crazy. What the hell was I thinking? What was I thinking, guys? I thought executioner uh, and bomber. I thought it. I thought it took like an extra shot. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. I really don't. And I really should have went like ability or something, but I do have Evo Zap, which I'm probably gonna have to use on defense here because he's gonna go in with a giant skeleton if he goes in front of that. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, wow. Um, I'm gonna go collector then. <laughs> I'm gonna support this giant. So I need like bats. I need to spawn like a bunch of bats because that's basically um, what's gonna take care of that. Uh, what's it called? Cannon air tower. But um, wow. Okay. Can we go giant? Can we go giant and pull that back? Perfect. I'm gonna end up zapping this. So he's taking advantage of me using the giant skeleton. So props to him. So we're actually gonna go split lane here. Good, we got an execution out of cycle. That's kind of what we really needed because that was like his main source of taking care of our bats. And then now we're able to go in here and he doesn't really have anything for our bats. He had to spend arrows. And we're gonna go night witch again. And we're kind of just going to go Bomber here. And we're going to go Ability. And I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Perfect. Well played, Diego. Um, I think I'm going to end the video there, guys. Um, I'm not good at Clash Royale anymore. i kind of been, like, playing bad as well. <laughs> oh, God, dude. To be honest, I'm, like, reconsidering this YouTube thing. Um, but also, I've been thinking about doing other things on YouTube. Clash Royale is just not that fun to me anymore. Um, there's other games I've been wanting to play, other things I've been wanting to try, so I may show some of that on the channel, but then at the same time, like, I know you guys are here to watch Clash Royale, and, I don't know, you guys, I don't know, I might, I might do, like, a Clash with Ash thing, and I might just, like, analyze gameplay, I do like analyzing things, so we, I might pull up, like, Mohammed Light and, be like, analyzing his games, and so I can show you guys what to do and what not to do when playing a game, but um, as of right now, with me like working at nighttime and everything, my brain's just a little, little too foggy to, like, I, I don't have the brain power right now to commentate and play and try to play good at the same time. Like, I, I don't know what's been going on with me, to be honest with you. So I apologize to you guys. But hope you guys have a good one. Love you. Peace. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Um, and stay.